get ready to uncover the fascinating truth. Our insatiable curiosity about the universe and the Earth has been the driving force behind incredible scientific breakthroughs. Without our thirst for adventure, exploration, and discovery, science and tech might not have advanced as rapidly as they have, and evolution could have taken a very different turn. Who knew that the simple joy of digging, often seen as just a hobby, would actually lead to groundbreaking discoveries, like uncovering hidden treasures of minerals. Imagine venturing beyond backyards and gardens. What if we were to plunge deep into Earth's surface, not just anywhere, but in Antarctica's icy wilderness? Picture this a massive hole, not just any hole, but one that reaches far beneath the frozen terrain. Why would we do it, for the sake of scientific exploration? But wait, there's more. Did you know that our planet already has its fair share of boreholes? Drilled at various angles and for distinct purposes, these hidden openings into Earth reveal secrets about our planet's past, geology, and even climate. Boreholes aren't just about curiosity, they're dug for real-world applications too. We've got energy extraction like gas and oil, or water resources at stake, mining for precious minerals, monitoring Earth's temperature, and geotechnical studies to understand our planet's foundation. But let's talk super deep. We've pushed the limits of drilling with incredible projects. Did you know the Kola Super Deep Borehole in Russia holds a Guinness World Record as the deepest man-made hole, stretching an astonishing 12,261 meters or 40,226 feet into Earth? In the US, Bertha Rogers reached almost as far at 9,583 meters, that's 31,441 feet deep. And the German Kate B. Borehole made it to an impressive 9,101 meters, that's 29,859 feet. Talk about digging deep. Mineral hunting drove most of the world's super deep drilling projects, but it seems scientists were too focused on the mission to add some fun to their research. No funny stunts or quirky experiments for these Earth explorers. Just serious science. But let's imagine, wouldn't you love to see someone toss a stone into that record-breaking Kola Super Deep Borehole? Alice, we'll leave those drilling adventures in the Northern Hemisphere behind and head to one of Earth's most extreme environments, Antarctica. Buckle up for a chilly journey to the bottom of the world. Get ready to chill out, literally. Antarctica takes the crown for being the iciest and windiest place on our planet. This frozen landscape is an icy desert, where the Antarctic ice sheet dominates, covering a massive 98% of the continent. It's no surprise that this giant freezer holds about 61% of Earth's fresh water. Scientists believe that Antarctica's transformation into a frosty world began around 40, 5.5 million years ago, and it all started with the opening of the Drake Passage. This ocean gateway led to less carbon dioxide in our atmosphere, paving the way for the continent's icy takeover. So how do scientists solve this icy mystery? Well, it all starts with a deep dive into their research, literally and figuratively. Studying massive ice sheets like Antarctica's provided crucial clues, but that was just the beginning. There's even an entire science called glaciology dedicated to all things ice, from glaciers to icebergs and yes, even backyard icicles. But it's expeditions to extreme environments like Antarctica where scientists like Peter Neff, a US-based glaciologist, make groundbreaking discoveries. Let's take a trip back to 2018 when Peter Neff and his team embarked on an epic mission to uncover Antarctica's secrets. They drilled a staggering 90 meters or nearly 300 feet deep into the ice. Talk about going below the surface. But why so deep? The answer lies in the ancient data preserved within that icy core. By analyzing the chemical composition of the water and the air bubbles trapped inside, they got a glimpse into our planet's past. Dating back hundreds of thousands of years, it's like reading the rings of an enormous tree but instead of seasons, it's about climate changes. You won't believe what happened next. Peter Neff didn't just stop at collecting samples. He added a dash of excitement to his mission by throwing a chunk of ice into the borehole and capturing it all on camera. The video might not be Hollywood material, but check out that sound, pure Antarctic ice on ice, until was that a bullet whizzing past? It sounds like something straight out of an action movie. So what's going on here? It's not a Wild West shootout in Antarctica. We've got science at play. The weird whizzing sound isn't from an icy outlaw, it's the Doppler effect, a phenomenon where the frequency and wavelength of sound change when the source is moving. As the ice falls through the borehole, it's moving away from the camera, causing its bouncing sounds to shift. Think of it like a symphony of echoes. You might have experienced this in real life without even realizing it, so keep your ears open next time you're out and about. Now that we've got our minds around the Doppler effect, let's listen up. It's like having your very own sound effects team at work. Just as an ambulance blaring its sirens zooms past you, the falling ice blocks echoes bounce off the borehole walls, creating a weird and wonderful soundscape. 
When that ice hits bottom, it lets out one last sound wave. But here's the cool part as those waves make their way back up. They don't just go straight to your ears, they're reflected by the sides of the hole, sending them swirling around until you hear what sounds like a steady heartbeat. And remember, all this is thanks to that sneaky Doppler effect. Let's dive right back in, and I mean that literally. Imagine this you're standing on the ice, staring into the abyss, wondering what secrets lie beneath. Suddenly, you drop something. Not a monster, sadly, but an ice block down into the dark. Now, Peter Neff's experiment might have been just 90 meters or 290, 5 feet deep, but we can dream bigger. Thanks to scientist John Andrew Higgins at Princeton Environmental Institute, we get to take the adventure even further, plunging 130, 7 meters or 440, 9 foot down into the unknown. What would happen if our ice block echoed its way back up through this much greater depth? Let's find out and see what new sounds come roaring back. I'm trying to focus here, but the Antarctic landscape is testing my willpower, who wouldn't want to drop something into that vast icy void. Okay, let's be honest, I'd love to see what kind of lasers we get at 137 meters. If Peter Neff could recreate the piercing whistle of a bullet, then it's reasonable to expect some seriously amplified sound effects from even greater depths. So, as much as my scientific training is screaming protocols and controls, my inner kid is whispering let's do this. Just imagine a Star Wars battle scene unfolding beneath Antarctica, stormtroopers firing away from the icy bottom. While our borehole may not be the deepest, it's part of an ongoing research effort to explore this frozen continent. In 2019, scientists drilled an incredible 2,152 meters 7,060 feet into the ice in western Antarctica. Talk about going deep. Their mission was to collect sediment samples and measure temperature and pressure changes as they descended. But here's what really gets me thinking. Did they ever get to have some fun and toss something into their massive hole? I'm guessing no one threw a party down that deep hole in 2019. But let's do some fun math. If you were to drop something, like a stone or ice chunk, it would take around 21 seconds to reach the bottom. That's a loom weight, and with all the creaks and groans of the ice, who knows what other sounds you'd mistake for an intergalactic battle. But here's the cool part. Our icy bullet could be reaching speeds of up to 745 km per hour, 460, 3 miles per hour as it plummets down. That's almost as fast as a plane, folks. Our plummeting stone or ice chunk can reach speeds of up to 740, 5 km per hour before it hits the bottom. Talk about an icy freefall. But hold on, there's more after the impact. We've got another 6.27 seconds to wait until that sound reaches our ears. And believe it or not, this borehole is just a warm-up for the real records breakers. Deep in Antarctica, at the Russian Antarctic Vostok Station, lies Lake Vostok, the largest hidden lake under thick ice right at the South Pole. Get ready for some mind-blowing facts. Scientists finally made it to Lake Vostok back in 2012 after drilling a hole that went a staggering 3,760, 8 meters deep. That's equivalent to 12,362 feet. You'd think the lake would be frozen solid under all that Antarctic ice, but surprisingly the water was actually liquid and relatively balmy at plus 10 degrees Celsius or 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So why doesn't this sub-zero environment freeze it? Well, it's due to the immense pressure from the ice above and a fascinating natural phenomenon. The Earth's internal heat might just be warming it up from beneath. Imagine an alien world hidden beneath Antarctica's ice for an astonishing 15 million years. That's Lake Vostok in a nutshell. Scientists believe its unique inhabitants have been evolving in secret, untouched by the outside world. Now, let's talk about making some waves. If you were to drop something into the borehole above the lake, would it create a splash? Well, picture this as the water from the surface of Lake Vostok slowly rises up and freezes in the hole. Scientists are actually creating an instant ice shield around their fragile access point. This protective barrier helps prevent any potential contamination from reaching the pristine environment below. Talk about taking extra precautions for the ultimate underwater discovery. So what happens to that icy layer of water after it freezes in the borehole? It's actually sent off for further analysis in specialized laboratories. But here's an interesting twist since scientists used special fluids during drilling, the hole itself remained unfrozen. A clever move to keep their equipment intact. Now, if you were to try and drop something into Lake Vostok today, the chances are that the borehole would be sealed off by ice, making it almost impossible to access. Thanks for joining us on this journey under the Antarctic ice sheet. Hit that thumbs up button if you learned something new, and don't forget to subscribe for more mind-blowing edutainment. Don't miss out on our next video.